Hi there, welcome to another video tutorial. This is Mir Salat Mahmood and I am going to show you how to fix this issue. The registry database is not set up correctly for Semantic Manager. Install step 7 again. And sometimes this is not possible to reinstall Semantic Manager on your computer. I will solve your problem inshallah. Please watch the whole video. If you are new to my YouTube channel, then subscribe it and click on the bell icon for notifications. We can solve this problem in two specific ways. The first one is most effective method. Now I am going to show the first method. Now go to the Windows search option and type registry editor. Just right click on the registry editor and run as administrator. Now click on the H key underscore current underscore user and then just click on the software and finally go to the class option. In this class option, directly scroll down to the bottom and there you will find virtual store named folder. We need to delete this virtual score. But not from here. Just go back and enter into the H key underscore users. In this H key underscore users, select the last option. In this option, you have to find the virtual store. To find virtual store, directly scroll down to the bottom area and you will find it there. In this virtual store folder, we will find some registry file about semantic manager step 7. Now we have to delete this virtual store from here. Now just right click on the folder and select delete to delete this virtual store folder from registry editor. Now again go to the H key underscore current underscore user and see virtual store status. When I click on the virtual store, then this error message will come for you also. That means we have accomplished our job successfully. Again, right click on this option and delete forever. Now close the registry editor and run semantic manager step 7. Alhamdulillah, we have resolved the registry database is not set up correctly for semantic manager step 7. Initial step 7 again error. Now we will see the second method, how it works. To solve this issue, right click on the semantic manager and go to and go to the open file location. Find semantic manager step 7 icon. Now right click on the icon and go to the properties option. In this properties option, go to the compatibility option. In this option, please put a tick on the run this program as an administrator. Click on apply and then OK. It's done.
Now go and run the semantic manager. A pop-up window will appear and click on OK. And enjoy PLC programming in semantic manager step 7. If this video is helpful for you, please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also don't forget to share this video with other engineers. Have a nice day.